So we are at our e-waste scrap pile, which grows ever every day, and uh, we have a power supply, which is one of our more recent deaths, and uh, we're gonna show you guys some some that's going on with it. So you know, thanks for joining us here on the uh, GNX channel, or GNX as it has been dubbed in some cases. Um, this little guy, uh, we we had the magic smoke come out of it, and we're gonna hopefully get in there and figure out why it was magic smoking. Uh, we haven't done any real research on this thing, so we, we don't really know what's wrong with it um, in terms of like what caused it to fail. And it's definitely not a new PSU. It's been in use for quite a while. But uh, the, we, we can assure you this is not, absolutely not a like, the NZXT E850 is dying and many of them are dying and it's a epidemic. It, it's not of that, it's not of that. But uh, this particular one, um, was running in our uh, streaming set rig and it was running at low power for a long time just kind of like driving some LEDs and some fans and most of the time sitting pretty idle so running low power for sure and maybe that's what got it just running low power for a long long time we're talking like months at a time here so if you have one of these don't worry it's probably, yours is probably fine you're probably not just letting it sit there running idle for you know, many, many months at a time. Uh, we, we think that might be what caused this one to die on us. So we've, we just did a piece on transients and, you know, transients can definitely cause problems with power supplies, but that probably isn't what happened here. So we're gonna, we're gonna open this thing up uh, using our handy dandy GN toolkit and um, try and get in there and show you guys the, the MOSFET that, that did actually fail. Let's see, so that, those four screws on top weren't the only thing. Let's try to get these two off here as well. Let's see. Oh, 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 we got something. Oh, there's two more on the other side. Okay. Uh, the, the warning label. Uh, your, your warranty is now void, even though that sticker is legally not meaningful. Um, thank you, Lewis Rossman. Uh, <laughs> this might do it. This might do it. Okay, I feel like eight screws. We might be able to get something out here. Yes, yes. And, and I've already taken the van out before when we look at it initially. That's a good thing. So... Yeah, MOSFETs, uh, the, usually the place that, that the MOSFETs blow up is gonna be in the APFC, which in the common power supply design, you have the input here and, and you run over this direction, and then you got this heat sink wall, and that heat sink wall right there is where your APFC MOSFETs are most commonly. Um, then uh, the other place to look for a blown MOSFET would be the, your PWM MOSFETs the ones that step the signal up to a high frequency signal, and they're usually in a you know, similar area. So we'll take a look here. Uh, let's see, how do we, nope. Oh boy, four more screws. Here we go, team. Let's do this. Okay, man, it's good to have things that are easy to work with, like uh, the GN mod mat. I, I have these at home, and I have a, a, a bench top with them, and they're great. Highly recommended. The next thing to do then would be to get this whole PCB out of here, and that's going to require four more screws to remove. Maybe we can speed this up on camera, Andrew. Let's see if we can move. Oh, 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 we got something. We got something. We got movement. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. All right. So maybe we can just take a sheet of paper here, get some better contrast. APFC MOSFETs right over here. These two little guys right here. Um, usually when MOSFETs blow, they'll split right across here on, on this part of the package. And these guys look like they're just fine, so it wasn't those guys that made the magical, wonderful smelling smoke. Uh, so the other two MOSFETs uh, locations we're looking at right here. So we got two right here, and these guys look fine. Oh, dude, uh, found it. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I want you guys in, in the viewing audience to see this thing right here. You can just see the package just sort of split right along that little gap right there. And that's definitely going to be a malfunction in the power supply. It's possible that you could just like get this exact MOSFET and replace it and maybe the power supply is good to go for another little while. But it's also possible that if one part goes then there's problems elsewhere too. So um, yeah, power supplies fail in a number of different ways. Uh, oftentimes MOSFETs are the failure part. Um, you, like I said, we, we did some stuff on transients, and transients can cause problems for power supplies. 
but uh, th they are complex devices and they have lots of different failures in them that can be caused from a lot of different things. And so assuming that just because one power supply dies, that's something wrong with a model, that's usually not true. Um, yeah, manufacturing variants can, can be the problem. Um, yeah, so bad power supply, not necessarily bad component, probably. And um, just want to show you guys what was up. So thanks for joining us on GN Extras. Uh, you know, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. We're going to try and produce more content like this for you guys so that if we're doing stuff that's maybe like not main channel quality but still fun to do, you can check it out. I mean, I love power supplies, and we're going to try and get you some more power supply reviews coming up too. And uh, here it is. So thanks for joining us on here. Hope to see you again sometime soon. Peace.